Hi guys and welcome to Buddy's Review. Today I'm reviewing another tank in World of Tanks. It's called the IS-6 which is a tier 8 premium heavy Russian tank. Um, out of the Russian premium tanks there's a total of three of them. Uh, I can show two of them on the tech tree. The first one is actually the Churchill which is actually a tier 5 heavy tank. It does come with a crew of five, and um, it costs you 1,500 gold. The next one is the IS-6, which costs you 11,800 gold. Now, it, the other one I have, which isn't shown on the tech tree, <coughs> is the KV-5, which can only be purchased in the gift shop. Now. I recommend if you buy any premium tank that you do buy premium tanks from the gift shop because first of all you don't spend your gold to you keep your gold second of all you get a garage slot if you purchase it through the tech tree and purchase it with your gold you can you don't get that garage slot and if you need one it's going to cost you another 300 gold to get that garage slot now out of the three um, heavy premium tanks that is offered in the Russian heavy line I recommend the IS-6 out of those three um, the Churchill is a tier 5 and I have not played it so I don't know how good it really is but um, it's a tier 5 and you don't get as much experience in a tier 5 compared to a tier 8 and the idea about a premium tank is to help grind your um, higher higher tank crews up um, I have a IS-4 so I can take my crew of 4 and put it in my IS-6 and check acceleration so all the experience that the IS-6 crew has uh, gets it goes into that crew and then I can just transfer that crew back over to my IS-4 and they <coughs> and they have that experience now the main thing about the premium tank it cr generates more credits and you can s transfer your crews. Reason why I like this tank overall and I'll compare this tank to the KV-5 which is the other premium tier 8 tank. Look at the profile on this tank. It actually has a low profile. The other good thing about this tank as see if we can get a size chart if you take a look at the angle of that center plate it is actually sloped pretty good and if you take a look at the sides it's sloped up and out both sides so that's actually pretty good head on a lot of angling so you get a lot of ricochets even the turret is um, an oval and also angled two ways it's angled around and angled up and you also got low profile cupolas so overall this has a low profile tank the side armor is angled the rear armor is angled so overall this tank is actually pretty good armor wise maybe not armor point value but at least angled wise it will help you ricochet a lot of shots um, let me pull up the KV-5 and I'll show you what I'm talking about this is the KV-5. This is just one massive tank. And it also has... Now, the armor on this is a lot thicker and it has a lot more hit points than the IS-6. And it's even five miles... Uh, five, five kilometers per hour faster. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. Than the KV-6. Uh, IS-6, sorry. But this tank has a lot of major drawbacks the RT the R2 T2 units right here up front you get hit there it's going to penetrate every time this cupola sticks out so high it gets it's easy to penetrate now it does have thick armor and the turret has some slightly angled armor <coughs> front has a, some slightly angled armor side no, there's really not much inside but I mean overall the three major weak points on this is this turret this turret and this turret 
they are majorly um, compared to the ISX. Look at the difference in profile. Same angle. It's a lot better. It's a lot sleeker. Um, let's look, go over the specs of this tank. And I'll blow them up so you can see this a lot better. Okay. It has 1,550 hit points. Current weight I have on this is 52.1 tons. You can have a total max of 59.9 tons. Engine horsepower is 700. Um, uh, the speed on this is not the best. It's 35 kilometers per hour. It's not that, fa it's not that fast of a tank compared to the KV-5. The KV-5 is actually 40 kilometers per hour. Traverse speed is 20 degrees per second. Haul on this is 100, 160. <coughs> but you got to remember one major important difference between on this tank is the angle of the armor. The armor is angled a lot more, so it actually gives you a higher armor value overall because of the angle. Um, turn sp turn is 150, 150, and 100. It's also angled and rounded. So it gives you a higher armor rating. It's also a low profile turret too. Um, I'll go over the gun specs when I get there. I'll do that on a separate thing. The turret traverse speed is 24 degrees per second. View range on this is 350 and actual I had 350 on it. Um, range of the signal is 450 and my actual is 458 so and like I said about that armor you, you let's take a look at the angles you, you get a lot of ricochet shots this on the angles of the armor so that's because the armor is a little not as thick as you would expect to be on a heavy it's because of the way the armor is angled which actually actually increases your armor rating Okay, let's go over the gun. And I'll blow the gun up here. Now, this is a gun 122 millimeter D30. It's a 22 caliber gun. Rate of fire on this is 5.3 rounds per minute. Um, I think I'm down to a 9, a nine second reload on it. Average penetration is 175, 217 and 61. Average damage on this is 390, 390, and 465. Now the gun is not that accurate. It's only a .46 at 100 meters, which isn't that accurate. You want you want your gun in, in about 30 range, not the 40 range. Aiming time on this thing sucks. It's .34 seconds. Weight on this is 2,590 kilograms. Um, comes with AP APCR and HE rounds that you can carry on this gun. So overall this is not a bad tank. Um, one thing you gotta realize something it is a premium tank. A premium tank is not designed to be a top gun tank or a top shelf tank. Um, as a matter of fact it's supposed to be either an average or below average tank in rating it makes up with with the bonuses of higher um, yeah credits received during the game and also a higher uh, research credits received during the game that's one of the reasons why you want to put, actually put your crews that you're like I would put my IS4 crew on here to help grind that crew up to improve it currently I have my IS6 crew in here because I'm going down now the IS lines to get the IS-7 and um, I had I'm trying to grind up the crew a little bit quicker so once I get the IS uh, IS completely done I can I can go ahead and get the IS-3 and sw take that crew off the IS and put it in in the IS-3 so they have a better crew on it overall so that's one of the things that about a premium tank you can take a tank you can take your crews out of your heavy tanks and actually put it in in that in these premium tanks to help grind the credits. Um, if you 
make sure you get um, crew accelerator checked off so that way all the experience goes into your cruise if you don't have it checked off it goes into what <coughs> I call the credit pool and click your convert credit you can see I actually have 71,840 um, credits that I can actually convert into free credits which will help me actually gain um, tanks experience a lot quicker and I'm currently saving that up and saving my gold to where I can when I eventually get my um, tier 9 medium uh, my tier 10 medium Japanese tank I would convert all this experience so I can go ahead and get that tier 10 and knock that tank out of the way so that's the benefits of having a premium tanks now I do have this tank in action um, so let's take a look at the clip I'll see you all on the other side hi guys and welcome to world of tanks with buddy 1927 and today I'm in my IS-6 Russian heavy premium tank this is actually not a bad tank overall um, it's not as good as the IS-3 but it is actually pretty good and it's kind of similar to the IS-3 um, as you can see it does have this nice front slope armor and it's also angled out pretty good overall so let's take a look what map we're on today and we are on the Abbey we have a 51% chance of winning I'm actually ranked number two I don't know how that happened <coughs> and I'm going down the one two line on this map I'm actually taking what I call the high road which is actually basically the two line you come down I have no shots on those tanks over there, so we're going to continue on and see what we come. Okay, we turn the corner and we have one tank. No, two tanks spotted. The damage to the VK. And they're firing back, you know, damage received. It did receive a non penetration hit. Uh, hit the VK again. Another non penetration hot shot from the VK. And it looks like a VK and a T44. Somebody took out the VK. And watch this guy. I, I'm trying to back up and this guy is blocking me from the shot so he can get his shot. I mean, that's a stupid. Good, he's on the other side. Evidently, he don't know how to play his tank as well as he thinks he does. Already shooting around out. And he gets damaged pretty good. Looks like we got looks like a prototype, a T28 prototype. And I hit him, but non-penetration. That's one thing I don't like about. I I play the the prototype, and I love play, playing the prototype. If you can get hauled down, it is hard to hit you. As as you can just watch this another bounce non-penetration I mean the T28 prototype is actually a pretty d decent tank um, I got the T44 he's just that uh, looks like the TD is, just, is gone so it's just me up on the high road and it looks like you got a, um, a Hellcat and a T34 on the lower road and they got a low and a T28 I'm keeping the T28 busy on me for right now. I'm getting tired of this guy. He's like a fly. You know, that fly that bugs you and flies around you. And you just sit still and you, you kind of wait for him to land so you can swat him. Well, that's what this T44 is doing to me right now. <laughs> 
And look, he's not even going to peek out. He's waiting for me to shoot at the prototype. There's the prototype. Uh, critical hit him that time. <coughs> and there's the fly. Okay, I'm done with him. I'm going to take him out right now. And he's gone. And the prototype ricochets off me. Look, you see the shell go straight up in there. That's one thing I like about this tank. It's the angle of the armor. You can see right that was a perfect reason why I like this tank. is because the angle of the armor. Another ricochet off of me. Um, if you look down my lower left hand corner of the screen. You can actually see. I don't know if I can. Yeah. Um, you can see. The hits I've received, I've received a lot of non-penetration hits. And it's all due to the armor. Looks like they finally got rid of the low. <coughs> so the T-28 now, oh, I got already shooting at me. So the prototype has three tanks at him. One at one angle, and he's concentrating at me. Now you don't know what to do. And so I'm reloading. Now the the heavy, now they're concentrating on him. I'm going to keep my try to keep his attention on me but not and he's taken out that's good we're going to push forward I'm going to stay on the high road see if anybody else wants to sneak up and looks like the heavy's going to take um, the one line actually looks like the Hellcat's going south instead of north so you want to um, I don't know what he's doing what are you doing Hellcat are you running away from the battle nah I'm just joking okay this is a little hidey hole I like I can overlook the cap wait for something to get spotted there's a Nash horn I hit the Nash horn once waiting for my reload he shoots at me, didn't pierce the armor. Now he's hiding behind the rock. Does he think he's safe? Guess what? You turned the wrong way. He's gone. He's out of here. That's kill number two for me. Um. Yeah. We've actually. It was SPG. I was at 424 meters and took him out. That's good. Looks like we've got two tanks left. There's no way I'm going to be able to get a shot on this guy. So. By the time I get over there, somebody else. And I should have stayed where where I was at. I did not see that um, other tank up top. Did not see that J-Panzer. Until after I dropped down. And that's game, guys. And as you can tell, that was definitely victory, guys, overall. Um, I did receive tankers second class, big deal. Um, did receive steel wall. Um, according to XVM, I had an 88.24% hit ratio overall. Now this is where you can tell where the teams actually how the teams actually did overall. Um, we had five guys left standing. They had none, so take a look at the damage top damage overall was 3432 by jelly knife um, he did excellent he had five kills on top of that did over 3000 damage excellent job um, mouse mech did 2202 with two kills I guess that's tiny bull uh, did also 2080 with four kills Doom Turtle had over a thousand at seventeen five five fifty one. Sorry, um, myself. I did fourteen eighty seven. Take a look at the other team over here. Um, top damage overall was two thousand nine hundred fifty nine. We had a tank that did over three thousand. They didn't have a tank that did over three thousand. That's a big difference in the team. They had another tank that um, the SVG did twenty four fifty in damage. Um, the Tiger 2 did 2185 in damage. Okay. Three tanks on their team did over 2,000 damage. We had one tank that did over three, 
two that did over two and we had two that did over a thousand in damage so we had the tanks that were actually doing damage overall they did, they only had three tanks that did over two thousand no tanks that did over a thousand after those two thousands that prototype um, that I was up against I was doing a lot of the ricochet he only dealt a total of 923 in damage so I actually did more damage than he did so that's that's how that's what you, that's the type of team you want you want a team that's, that's going to do the damage um, overall and it, as you can see we did we had a team that did overall damage and we also had <coughs> a team killer on our team that took out one tank so we were down one tank because of that so you gotta take a look at that um, light speed I had no idea what he was doing in this game he was a Hellcat and you can see he did no damage I uh, had that T-34 which was um, Nosh Mac which light speed was with if you remember going down that road he did no damage why was he in the game who knows okay overall stats I fired a total of 17 rounds did 15 direct hits, six penetrations. So most of my rounds were bounced off that uh, prototype. Uh, I did a total of 1,487 damage, one shot, 28 uh, over 300 meters. Um, hits I received, I received a total of 13 hits overall. That's a lot. Had four penetrations and nine non-penetration. That's what that armor is about. That angled armor on the front of this tank is why I like this tank. And it's actually, that's one of the benefits of this tank compared to the um, KV-5. The KV-5 has no armor. So I'm going to compare apple to apple. This KV IS-6 is a premium tank. The KV-5 is a tier 8 premium tank also. And as you can see, there's no the armor is completely designed differently. And if you know where to hit the KV-5, you can take it out in three shots. It's hard to hit this IS-6. So, the overall premium tank I would buy would be the IS-6 if I'm going down the Russian line. But I got both, and I enjoy playing both. Um, but for better protection, I, I would buy the IS-6. Okay. Um, I did receive a total of 1,780 damage received. I was I spotted three enemy vehicles. I hit four tanks, killing three of them. And I did get assisted damage of 1,182. So that might help me my overall score. Um, credit I received 70,672 plus a 25,000. Um, bonus for um, mission complete after ammunition and repairs I received 75,114 that's one of the reasons why you want a premium tank is that you get the credits even if you lose you still learn credits unless you're running gold in your tank and I don't do that uh, my premium tanks are actually designed to grind the crews and get and get credits so I don't shoot gold rounds in my premium tanks. I shoot nothing but AP and um, either heat or HE, depending on which tank, what is available. Um, I try to accelerate my crews on, on. Unfortunately, on this tank, I forgot to hit the crew acceleration. <laughs> so, unfortunately, none of this credit went. Uh, part of this credit went to the crews. The rest of it actually went to um, convert to experience. So, I did receive 1,458. Uh, credits times it by two, 2,916. So overall, I did receive some credits. Um, I'm going to have to spend some gold to convert that 2,916 to into actually credits I can uh, research credits that I can use towards another tank. Okay, guys. Now, IS-6 is a good premium tank if you're going down the Russian heavy line um, because it is a premium tank you can actually um, take a look and see what you can buy with that tank you can grind your crew especially when you get tier 9 tier 10 battles you can take your crew off that tier 10 um, tank and actually go into battle with it that's one thing I enjoy doing is um, gives you a change of pace 
make sure you don't do what I did. Make sure you got your crew accelerator so all that experience goes into your crew. It's a lot easier to grind your crews on a tier 8 than it is on a tier 9 or a tier 10 tank. So um, if you are going down the Russian heavy line, I do recommend buying this tank overall. Um, I will get the IS-6 before I will get the KV-5. I do have both. Um, and I enjoy playing both. Um, but I actually do better in the IS-6 because of that sloped armor. So, like, thank you for watching this video. If you do like this video, please like us on YouTube. Um, if you have any comments, leave your comments down below. If you think a friend might like this video, share this video with your friends. And, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to my channel. This way you, you know when my next video comes out. And I'd like to thank you again for watching this video. Save some tanks on the battlefield for me. You all have a good day.